good, y'all. It's, it's the Dude Chef to react, and, and we're, we're back, back with another video. video. What we got to this see? We are back with our 10K Get to Know Us Q and A. Yeah. You guys voted that you all would like to know more about us, and you all sent in questions. Thank you. Thank so you. that is what we are about to get through today. It's not a regular reaction video, but I'm sure we have reactions that either just went out or it's about to go out. So. Go after this video yeah. and check out those um, reactions. Definitely, go check that out. So, you ready to just get straight into yeah, it? Yeah, let's dive, man. They, they, they ask their questions, they want the answers, and we're going to be authentic as real as possible. I know that's Always. something you guys really enjoy about us. And yeah, I feel like I just haven't been able to do this, yeah. like give this type of advice and yeah. just be real open. Because again, this is something that we always usually do at the beginning of a channel. We've done this on our yes. other channel. Yeah, we do have a family channel right, called right, right. Life With Them. It's in the description down below and it's on our front page of this channel. So if you want to see more of our life with our children and our dog, make sure you, you know, check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah. I just think this is fun to like now that we're yeah. able to do it on this channel. You know, yes, with our yes. new subscribers, our new fan base, you yeah. know, kicking with y'all. I'm 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 turned. Like I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I am too. And guys, before we get started, we wanna let y'all know that majority of the time that we're filming is either late at night or early in the morning. Yeah, we okay? working. <laughs> like we working. Y'all see yeah. us working. So yes. yeah. This is the only time that we're able to, you know work for this channel mm. um because we do have a family and we do have a life and we have businesses so yeah that's it but anyway let's get into it the first question is from ug bias. bias so shout out to you um you asked if you could go back in time is there anything you would want to change mm. Mm. You want to no, you you go, go first? I, I have to question. You gotta I, go. So, um, once upon a time, not long ago, oh. was a little brother named Dion. He had long locks, right? Uh, I cut all my locks off. Mm -hmm. Literally cut them all off in the middle of the night. It was probably around this time. And mm -hmm. Sierra's like, Dion, do not cut your locks off. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't yes. do it. And I kind of sat back to myself and I reevaluated everything. And I said, you know, I'm doing it. Yes. I took it all off and the reason why I say that because a lot of times I, I, I think to myself that you know reframing my identity would would reshape me to life again mm -hmm. but I now learn in life that it's all about how you view things it's your mindset your perspective, your perspective. and it's just yeah. how you it's, it's how you tackle situations and I, I feel like I wasn't tackling situations where I was supposed to so I feel hey I'm just cut all my hair off mm -hmm. and start over yeah. you know what I'm saying so. and I woke up the next morning because he did not tell me that he was going to cut it off. I woke up the next morning to him looking like a little chicken head. <laughs> yeah. Yo, the so. barbershop, it was, it was clowning me. Ooh, it was going in on me. Yeah, so you go ahead and say the next one. We're not going to say the next one because you didn't answer the question. So what? if oh, you could go oh, back oh, in time, sorry. is there anything <laughs> would you want to change? Okay, for, guys, for me, um, I really do look at everything as either a lesson or a blessing. Facts. Either I'm going to learn something from this or I'm going to be blessed by it. And I look at that for every situation, no matter how good, no matter how bad. So, that's how I look at things. I look at it like that too. You do? Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Alright, so the second question is from Alan Salapungo. Pungo? We're going to have it on the screen. It's Alan. Alright, so the, the question is, I want to know your secret to a healthy relationship Ooh, i want to know like, we love let me know the it. secret we love talking about marriage stuff we have a whole bunch of videos on our other channel about it yeah um secret to a healthy relationship for me there's two things that i absolutely live by in my marriage mm. first and foremost i have to take out i have to take out like the romantic part especially like when we're going through a problem i have to Instead of looking at Dion as my husband, mm -hmm. especially like when there's like a tough problem, I have to remember that at the end of the day, he is my friend. Yes, he may have made me so mad, but at the end of the day, that is my friend. That is my bestest friend in the whole wide world. So, you know, just looking at it from that point of view, because you never want to hurt your friend. You never want to be spiteful towards your friend, you know, because um, in relation, huh? 
That's kind of, not to cut y'all, but that's kind of like going back to how you got, like how we first met. Yeah. You know what I mean? That energy in that very yes. moment. Yes. Just you know remembering that at the end of the day, before we were anything, we were friends. And just remembering that. And the second thing is look at every problem as it's y'all versus the problem and not mm. you versus you. You know? So that's how I kind of look at it. That's like two of the things that I always keep in the back of my head. This is my best friend. Right, right, right. And it's not us versus each other. It's us versus the problem. That's good. And to go a little deep on that, because sometimes if you really look at relationships, what really caused relationships to fail mm -hmm. is the lack of the lack of communication, which yes. eventually be the reason of boredom is in is somewhere in between there. You know what I'm saying? Boredom and, and disappointment. Boredom and disappointment. Disappointment? Yeah. Okay. And you also say that to tackle the problem, don't tackle each other. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we get so we get so confused by why we're dealing with what we're dealing with that we have no one else to go at yes. about it. So we just tackle our spouse. Yes. And we'd be like, hey, this is and then we start going back and forth. And that's so true though. You really want to just focus on the problem and not focus on pointing the finger back and forth. Yes. Because that's gonna the poke can get a little irritating. Yes, and then that's when you wanna be like, see, you the one caused this problem. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. Just you gotta be on the same team. Yes. To be on the same team. And another thing that is like at the forefront of our marriage is our goals. Like we have a yearly goal, five years, ten years, what we want to be when we're 80. Like mm -hmm. we know those things and we're always, always, always achieving goals and striving for goals. So That's good. That's good. That's so, kind of what we focus on. So another thing that helps for a healthy relationship, I just thought about this. Y'all was not going to say this. Um, but it's too y'all see how look at yeah, so what? Like, what you gonna say? All right, so it's to definitely you know take taking account of the I and you method in okay. relationships. Okay, right? we talked about that one before. So, so for a clear example, you guys, instead of saying you're never around whenever I need you, say I love when you're around me, so I have because I have someone to talk to. Okay. Because if you say if you say that you like it's like pointing a finger like at the very beginning how you mentioned it. Yeah. If you say that you were never around, then that person may hear you and be like, I'm never around. What you mean? I'm here twenty four seven. Or that person may say, I'm here but I'm always dealing with things that you know I'm dealing with. Mm -hmm. And then that automatically disconnects the whole conversation and you mm -hmm. like you missed it. Yeah. But if you say, I like it when you're around me that makes whenever sense. I need you more. Like I need you whenever like when you say that like that, like I need you around me more or mm -hmm. I like when you're around me, then that person says, Oh I'm gonna be around gonna be him around. or her yeah. more. Yeah. Did I make it make sense? Did you that did, help? You did, you did. You Alright, I'm gonna leave it at that. I think yeah. the I and you method works better. It's just basically re yeah. re rewording your language towards your spouse. That mm -hmm. way they can be more complimented instead of feeling more targeted yeah. whenever you have something that you're dealing with. Yeah. Don't attack them. You know, just yeah. Go at them with love and everything. Go Definitely. At them with love. If you could meet any dead famous person from history, who would it be? Hmm. I, I think I got one. This, this is the first name pops in my head. Who? It'll be Tupac. Okay. Why Tupac? It'll be Tupac because. For the rap industry that we're dealing with right now, I feel like he spoke. Like, he had a lot of the music that he spoke on mm -hmm. that was real targeted to the community, and it helped yeah. a lot of people. Uh, Dear Mama, right? Um, yeah. Bertha having a baby. It wasn't about a woman. Brenda. Brenda. Was it Brenda? <laughs> Not Bertha. Oh, Brenda. like Brenda having a baby. <laughs> like, that song alone, it wasn't just about a woman. It was, yeah. It was baby about Mama, this and the third. It was about a woman who needed help. Yeah. You know what I mean? She having a baby, she's alone, and just, like, her story. And a lot of ladies could relate to that. You know what I mean? And it just, the, the narrative to how music is today is so separate to how Pac was, you know, death and illustrated. And plus, he always spoke on gems. He always gave knowledge. He always spoke on uh, healthy consciousness, um, things that can be better for the communities, uh, mm -hmm. things that can help people prosper. Even though everybody has a side to them that we can always look at more mm -hmm. and be like, why would you want to, when this person got all this going on, but... I like to focus on the positive side of people. Yeah, Tupac is a good one. You know, he was very prolific, very uplifting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have my person who I would like to meet. I just need to make sure that I'm saying her name correctly. Her last name. 
Yes, I got it. Okay, so the person that I would like to meet is Zora Neale Hurston. Mm. And I feel like I'm not saying that last name correct, but I would like to meet her because, you know, I am a writer and I feel like she was such a person where she didn't care what nobody else had to say about what she wanted to write. She wrote for her community and to uplift and inform people and, you know, motivate people. And that's what I'm all about. And she could not be silenced. Like there was this article that she wrote about... Um, can't think of the story, but it was a big story at that time and it was controversial and she was even told not to write about it and she still wrote about it anyway because mm. the people needed to know what right. was going on and I truly, truly admired that about her. Um, so yeah, I would like to meet her. But other than that, I couldn't really think of anyone that I would like to meet. You know, I learned from the works of others. So, yeah. Well, that's beautiful. That's good. She sounds like she's powerful. Alright, so the next one is from R N N N. Oh wait, did we shout out the other person? No, well, okay, this is the the last question was from Rambling Fam. Okay. And again, Sierra did mention we're gonna have all the people names at the bottom. Yeah. So um the next one is R N N Castro. And this person said, This is not a question. I just want to say that y'all look happy and I like to see y'all stay that way. Thank you. We Thank truly you so appreciate much. it. We are happy. We are. Okay. Do we have any more that you noticed? Yes. Drew Thomas. And this was one of my favorite questions. I really wanted to get to this question. Mm -hmm. Because she said that she is newly engaged. And she would like for us to talk about overcoming issues and staying together. I think we kind of touched on the overcoming issues um, yeah. part already. But staying together. So, Dion and Maya's love story is kind of, it was puppy love at first, you know. Um, Shout out to the puppy love. Yeah, lover. I mean, um, staying together. We just know what we want. And we both come from backgrounds of pain, mm -hmm. I guess you can say. And we knew what we wanted for our children. And we knew that we wanted to, we're so, we're so focused on our legacy. You know, so we're so focused on our future grandchildren and all of that and building a firm foundation for them mm -hmm. um, so that they don't have to do all of the groundwork that we are doing. You know, like we don't want our children to struggle. We don't want our grandchildren to struggle. So that is at the forefront of our thinking as well, knowing that we right. can get through anything together. Right. Um, we definitely we just um, love each other so much. Yeah, we definitely love each other a lot. Um, tackling issues, like if we was to have an issue with anything, whether it was things that happened or not, that's a, one of the main things that help that really disconnects relationships is finances. Mm -hmm. Right. You want to be able that. to know: Can you struggle with the person you're with? Would they abandon? Would they jump ship? Would they yeah. give up on you? Would they? go crazy and just go like chaotic because they just have no more answers and they, now they're just physical with everything like can you guys get over those humps yeah before you actually get to the sunny side because the grass is always greener where you water it so if y'all is in this situation together the issues may look like it's chaotic right mm -hmm. because that's what you do when you're picking up dirt and you want to plant seeds it's going to look chaotic but once y'all get over that that's always greener grass on the other side because y'all now see each other Mm -hmm. And say, hey, I know how you are, I know how you get, but I also see that you have that in check now, and vice versa. And that just shows a person a lot more respect because no one else can get y'all in those characters. Definitely. No one else can get y'all out of that character other than the person that you're with. Mm -hmm. And that person will never do that to you because they love you. So if anybody's coming around to get you out of character, right. that's not love right. because you experience it with the one that you're with. Right. So Definitely. get over that issue, get over those humps and everything else that's coming in. It's going to look like a test, a trial, because y'all know what y'all already accomplished. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Um, general advice, because we love couples. Like, we do have a heart for marriage. Mm -hmm. And general advice that I would give for, you know, engaged couples, newlyweds, would be make a vision. 
and make that vision plain. Oh yeah, like definitely. vision boards. Like we we love doing vision boards every year, and not just a vision board for yourselves, but a vision board together, like your family. Like if y'all have children later on, like even have those children on the vision board. You know, yeah, yeah. just to know exactly what y'all doing, because I feel like. When you don't have a vision, it's like, okay, so what happens after the wedding ceremony? Y'all just going to be going to work, come home, going out on dates, like, right, right, right. what's happening? Are we about you to know? just spin it all because we got it or are we going to sit back and make a vision yeah. and then invest it? Yeah, so definitely vision boards for your family so that y'all can have a clear set of goals mm -hmm. of what y'all want y'all marriage to look like. Secondly, knowing, like... Coming up with a game plan on how y'all gonna handle problems, mm -hmm. um, financial problems, um, problems with family, because you know families always, no matter how good of a family that you have, you're always gonna have some type of problem that's gonna arise. Um, even like with having, family or friends. Even like having problems with our today and age situation, COVID. Yeah. Right? Like we didn't see that coming, but at the same COVID time, stressful, Lord. <laughs> At the it's same true. time, we knew that, for instance, our main, our main help was operating our gifts, right? So Sierra, yeah. knew, once upon a time, she worked with children in school, yeah. and she did it for years. So she was able to take that gift and that talent and then pour it into our children yeah. and help them becoming, you know, homeschooled yeah. without having to go and risk. And um, that's just that's just another little minor uh, example right there. Yeah, so I think that was kind of it. Finances is a big thing. You touched on that, yeah. that one. Um, finances, goals, communication, staying together. I think that is the three things. Your goals, finances, and knowing how to communicate. Yeah. And really, 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 really becoming one. Really becoming one, like, seriously. Yeah, understanding one, uh, one another. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, that's definitely important. Dennis S. Oh, wait, there's two questions, babe. Oh, you have two more? Dennis S. Ask, how did you guys meet? You want to act, answer that question? Yes. Yeah, so me and Sierra met. I, I don't know. If it's like, it's, was it like, I, okay, so we went to this program, you guys, but I still don't know to the day how to explain it. Was Upper Brown a college experience college that we had? Or was it just like a preparation program? Yeah, like, so me and Sierra met at this college preparation program, mm -hmm. um, but it was so weird because... It was towards the very end. See, you never know how to tell the story. I always tell the story right. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, I do. Because it was that time when you were sitting at the table. It's the last, first of all, first of all, I have, I'm, look, I'm a storyteller, natural born storyteller, so I have to say the background. Okay, all Dennis, right. here we go. So, well, no, I'm, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you after I set up the scene for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, it was our freshman year of high school. You were 15, I was 14, and um, we had this Upward Bound program. You're in Canada, so I don't know if they have this program all the way in Canada. Right, but it's a college right. preparation program, and you go there after school like twice a week or once a week? You go there to once a week. Once, once a, a week. week. Yeah. You go on weekends, and then you go for six weeks of the summer. Yeah. So your summer is gone. Okay. So, um, me, being a child of divorced parents, my summers were spent with my mom, who lived two hours away from where I lived with my dad. So, freshman year, I went to the program, but she, towards the middle of the program, stay, <laughs> I knew I wasn't coming back. because she That was my chance. That's, that's, my, that's my time with my mom. Yo, like, I... I didn't know you was coming back either. Yeah, wasn't. Did we even back. see? Did we even see each other around that time? We probably have, time. but the we never time. spoke. Yeah, we would always side eye each other and That's crazy. you know smile at each other, but we never said a word the entire six weeks until the last day. Your boy spoke. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened on the last day, you guys? We had our yearbooks. It was passing all among everybody, and everybody was signing yearbooks. Sierra. Mm -hmm was sitting way to the back of the auditorium and mm -hmm. I was way in the front, you know. Everybody was feeling your boy Dion. So like, yeah, this is it, yeah. Hey, man, she hit me up, yo. Got you, got you. Hold on, bro, I'm gonna have you. 
Give me one second. Ran up them steps, I ain't gonna see it. I said, hey, so, uh, did you get a chance to sign my yearbook yet? You know, it was my kiddish, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did you get a chance to sign my yearbook yet? She's like, no, I have not. I was like, um, yeah, go ahead. Write your name and stuff down and then, oh, and put your number in there too. Mm, no, 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 I ain't put my number. No, you I did, did put I your did, number. I yes, did. you did. I did. We still have that yearbook to this day. Yeah, so she put her yeah. number in there. I ended up signing hers. I put, did I put my email or my MySpace? Baby, he put the number, he put the email, he put the address, <laughs> he put what? it all. Okay? He put everything. Hey, look, and after that, like, and again, you guys, this whole program was like six weeks. Six weeks. And we never spoke, not a one time. Until the, until last the very hour. last day when everybody's about to go on their buses and go yeah. home. Yeah. On the buses? Yeah, some people, had, some people had to go on their buses. Some people you had to go on the bus? Uh, my daddy can't get me. Nah, I think I would drove off on the Harley. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but and you that, know what's crazy? While he was doing that, I, you know, I didn't want to seem desperate, so I had other people sign my year because I'm one of those people, like, I'm chill, I'm late no, back. She was really chilling. Man. I don't yeah. like to be a part of the in crowd, you know, everybody was getting their yearbook signed, I didn't want nobody to sign mine, but I wanted to talk to him, so I had to get, like, five people to sign. You know, you don't want to seem desperate. So, I got people to sign, and as he was coming walk to me, I said, hey, can you sign my yearbook? And that's when he was like, did you sign mine? And he's like, that's how that went. <laughs> what? That is how it went. It's crazy. That was a, that was a moment, though. Yeah, I'm glad that. because what if we never spoke to each other that last and that's, day? And that's how I started off. That's, that's what got the ball rolling when the yeah. pen hit that paper. Yeah, y'all, yeah. like literally, after we signed each other yearbooks, like they told us, y'all have to go. Mm. Like, y'all parents are here. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, so the last question. J. Sale Della. I know how to pronounce it. The in uh, gives it more mm -hmm. emphasis, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I don't want to mispronounce it, so we're just going to put it on the screen. But her question was if you are given a chance to travel, which we love to travel, yo, we love to travel. What country do you want to visit and why? Congratulations for reaching 10K. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I think yeah. we kind of on the same page with this one. Yeah. Because um, we talk about this a lot. Yeah, we would love to visit the Caribbean islands. That's all of the islands. Jamaica, St. Yeah. Martin, the Virgin yeah. Islands. All of those islands. And I would really love to go to Africa. And I would really love to go to Bali. Because mm. the water is just so beautiful. Brazil as well. I think I want to go everywhere, y'all. Yeah, we want to go everywhere. Like I said. Basically. Like, yeah. Like we eventually yes. we're gonna um put it put that into motion. It's on our yeah. vision board. So we that was a great question because we we're actually just talking about this a yeah. few days ago. Um We're gonna get our passports this year. Yeah. Our children are gonna get their passports. We really just want to see the entire world yeah we want to take y'all with us too so yeah that was a beautiful question beautiful questions um i hope that you guys enjoyed all our answers and for the ones who really was needing some in-depth answers i hope you guys received the information that you have yes reach out to us like, yes definitely for the ones about the um the relationships yeah. and stuff like that we do have some things that is coming out later this year that we know that y'all would truly truly love um, if you'd like to see more of us, we are on our family channel, um, weekly right now. We post a lot, but right now, weekly, um, life with them, um, what else I wanted to say? We do also have our kids channel, Mari and Daniel's World, yes. so please go check that out. If you have any kids out there, you know, they probably would really, really yeah. enjoy watching them. They love pretend play, yes, definitely. you know, just kids stuff. Um, we even have a music video on that channel that we're sure your children would sing. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it, you guys. Yeah. So, guys, we're on the road to 50K. 5-0. Yes. 50K. And we can do it. We can do it. Together. We can, we can do it. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue to ground. We're going to continue to put the work in. You guys going to see our face consistently. So, get used to it. Enjoy yes. it. Yes. Because we're here now. Yeah. We're all up in there. Yes. We're all up in the mix. You know always good vibes, positive vibes. We know that we may not always say things that you all agree with, mm. but 
we all can disagree wait agree to disagree, agree to disagree respectfully yeah. Yeah. okay y'all don't have to shove whatever down our throats it's fine to disagree on some things and still love each other so because that's right. what we all about okay we love everyone um, um listen 50k you guys is around the corner i know we can hit that in the blink of an eye yeah and i'm this i i enjoy doing this with sierra mm -hmm. sierra enjoy doing this with me and mm -hmm. i want to do more 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 videos where you know we hit milestones you guys get to you know see us do whatever it is that you want us to do 50k is a giveaway and we will be bringing the kids back on the channel more often it's just yes. we have to find kid appropriate videos for them to react to and you know people can be so cruel sometimes so when it comes to our children we're very guarded so give us some things to react to for the children and we'll check it out for you. That's all I have to say. Y'all can tell it's late, right? Because we're rambling. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you have anything else to say, babe? I have nothing. I have nothing. Nothing? Nothing. I have nothing. So, yeah, guys, that is it. We'll see you all on the next video. Peace. Peace.